hello everyone so hope you guys doing good so in this video i am going to tell you about incremental refresh in power bi so there is an option if we have uh, want to increment a refresh of any data source we just need to right click but before that we need to set up some parameters here and unfortunately these parameter are hard coded parameters so you have to follow these steps with me so you can able to do the same things so we need to go in our transformation and this is a data set we have to use as an incremental load so what we need to do we need to create a two parameters the first parameter is range start so I'm going to create range start here keep in mind that it should be like this it should be hard coded or it shouldn't be anything else other than range start so we need to give date and time here uh, and it is a required field okay so keep in mind we cannot do the data type any it will not work okay so you have to give a proper date and time field here so let me give any value like 2020 and then 01 and again 01 right so similarly if you click hit ok similarly we need to create another parameter which is range and and once more again I am repeating that these parameters must have the same name this is a one of the limitation okay but uh, this is I would not say that this is a limitation this is a way we define a incremental refresh in power bi okay so I am going to use my end date can be prior date okay so once we define a range start and range add we need to select the table which we want to apply as a incremental load so we have a date field here and before applying the date field i am going to also check whether we have updated field modified date or last field date so it will be better if we don't have then no worries we will use a date field here okay the objective of this incremental refresh is that we need to have a data set is huge so we can limit our data set and next time when our refresh work so we need to add it here we know we are going custom filters and then we have to select whatever the case or depending on the situation for example in my case I have a start range so I am going to use is R or is after or equal to so if my start date is after this date range then it will filter the data and similarly uh, I have select before or equals to could be or is before is enough you can think so in this case I am going to use and range and so this is a range defined so you can see the data flow is going to refresh accordingly our need over the given parameters okay so data is limited so this is a data one time we need to push in power bi service or power bi refresh okay so we are going to hit apply changes to make changes effectively meanwhile data is loading and i am also give you idea about database how many rows in our database we have so this is a query for example rather than 2020 I took 2023 so we have 556,236 rows okay so it should be similar when we parameterize our query and okay so I am going to create a one card here to show how many rows we have if my range start date is from 1st January 2023 so let click any dimension and count so this is 5624 it is same as we saw in our database so let me show how we can change it 
so we are going to change it in a none actually so okay so five six two three six so we have five six two three six so all the values are exactly populated in our refresh okay so this is one time refresh actually I am going to also display two card here one is for start date and one is for our data the limit of the data we have right now keep in mind that we took 20240106 but we have a data like maybe 28 fab or 24 29th of april you can say so you can see on the screen 29 of april we have data maximum so this is a start date this is end of data so now we're going to click our incremental refresh so you can see that we satisfy the condition but the one thing the limitation is that in power bi service once we upload the power bi desk we cannot download it so we have to save a local copy always with us so here we have uh, how many years we need to retain the data so start archiving data 10 years incremental refresh data is for example i want i have a knowledge that my data will be after within a 60 days my data will can be changed but after 60 days it will not be changed so this is a range i define rest of the column we can rest of the checkbox we can left it as well as is uh, but if we want to use direct query we need premium version so keep in mind we are using power bi service as a pro license so under pro license we can utilize this incremental refresh function so let save this apply and now the final result or final step is remaining after hitting apply is that we just need to publish this report uh, let me rename the page name so final step is after refreshing the page we need to publish our report in power bi service let me refresh publish and refresh this page so it's publishing so it's giving message that the data is refreshed so but it's this country that's why we cannot download it it from power and here you go you can see the output of the page so i hope you understand how incremental refresh will works now thank you very much for watching this video